This problem might have been easier if they'd drawn this picture for you. What I've drawn is the volleyball court seen from the side. So here's the baseline of the team that's serving. This is the side view of where the center line is and where the net is. So the top of the net is 2.24 meters above the ground. And this is the um, back of the court where the other team is. So I think you probably know this. In order to have a successful serve in volleyball, you have to get it over the net, but then it can't land too far over here. It has to land within the court of the opposing team. So if you don't hit it hard enough, then it's going to go down like this and hit the net, and that's not a good serve. And if you hit it too hard, it'll go out of bounds, and that's not a good serve either. So the minimum speed you have to hit it with is so that it clears the net, and then the maximum speed is it so it just lands over here. So we'll start with the part about clearing the net. We're looking for the velocity, which is going to be straight horizontal. So this is a spaghetti water problem. The initial height of the ball, why not, is 3 meters. And when we get here, we want y to be equal to 2.24 meters. In the y direction, there's no initial velocity. So we just have y equals y naught plus one half gt squared. We know why and we know why not, so we should be able to find the t from here. t is going to be something like the square root of 2 times y minus y naught over g. Now let's see, did I? Yeah, g is going to be negative, so the stuff inside here is going to be positive. We find the time. But that's, of course, not the question. The question is going to be the velocity, right? So then we go over to the x part of the equation. And in the x direction, all we have is distance equals speed times time. This here is the velocity that we're looking for, the time we get from there. And the distance is the distance that the ball travels from here to there. So this distance x to clear the net is 8 meters. The next part of the thing we have to do is we have to land in bounds. So we have the same question, what is the speed in order to make sure that it lands in bounds. The initial y is still 3 meters because it's still this beginning picture. But now what we're looking for is for the ball to come and land right there. So our initial y is 3 meters. Our final y is 0. Um, so we're going to do y equals y naught plus 1 half gt squared. And in this case, the y is 0. So our time is going to be just square root of minus 2 y naught over g. Remember, g in this problem is going to be negative. Um, now we have our new time. We do the same equation, x equals bt, with the time that we just calculated. But now the distance is the distance from here to there, which is 8 meters plus 9 meters. Eight meters to the net, nine meters to the end of the court on the other side. So that's a total of 17 meters. Um, and then we can calculate the speed.